The Nesting Doll Once upon a time a little doll encountered demons in the woods near home. One took the guise of well-bred traveler, smiling and chatting as he touched her here and there, at last warming into her mouth by cunning slights so he could taste her soul. At first the demon could not find the soul, and he was roiling wrath against the doll, sending her vomit, scalding her small mouth with curses. Mama turned her out from home, and Papa yodeled, She won't bunk down here, but take her thwax and be a traveler. How cruel to make a child a traveler, a ditch her nest. The black night of her soul expelled a single star. The demon could hear it crackle, plunging like the tears the doll had shed when she looked back at home sweet home. Wrinkles were rock around her papa's mouth. The demon snatched the starlight in his mouth. Then grief was in him like the traveler they call the wandering Jew, who has no home and cannot die. The fiery drop of soul explored his throat and gut. Meanwhile, the doll kept dreaming that some girl would beg, Stop here. Nobody did. The demon still could hear her words. In pools he must have glimpsed her mouth, bewailing fate. Although it seemed the doll was rubbish to him now, the traveler less than the tiny prison flame of soul that made his mazy heart a hearth and home. A demon's heart is a queer sort of home. Yet the star burned as brightly there as here or any place and had not changed from soul. At times it whisked up to the demon's mouth. Perhaps light sought to reach the traveler and knew when demon yielded to the doll. When home was starlight singing in her mouth, all powers burned to hear the traveler, and Marvel's soul was nested in a doll.